Hey, I'm Julie, Faye Fan Balzer. And a fun fact about me is long before there was painting, long before there was stenciling, long before there was scan and cut, long before there was any of the things that I post about nowadays, I was a beater. And in fact, I was obsessed with beading and bead weaving. So I've been making lots of things like necklaces, like bracelets, like wall art, all kinds of things like that. And, and one of the things that I always loved about beading is that it's so portable, you can really take it with you. So in today's basics video, I wanted to show you how to make a little carrier to take your beading projects with you. Um, this is also a great thing to use even when you're home. It just keeps everything together. It keeps it so that, you know, beading can be a long process sometimes. So if you've picked a color palette and all that stuff, you wanna be able to just store it away for the next time you have time to work on it. This is just such an easy way to keep all of that stuff together. So this is how I take a beading project with me. This is a thin canister. I believe it's a CD tin. Remember when CDs existed before we had MP3s? Um, but you can still get really thin tins like this and I just use some rubber bands to secure it. And then inside, this is a Velux bead mat that I've cut down. And you can see that I've cut it down because you can see the marker line, right? where I traced the tin so that I could cut it down. And I've got another one in the bottom. And in here you can see I have my beading needle, I've got some beads of different sizes, and this makes it really easy to have everything I need to just go ahead and do my beading. You can even put a spool of um, beading thread in here, whatever it is you need. Now, I don't have any more of these um, Velux bead mats left at my house. So I decided to show you how you can make one using quilt batting. So similar idea, it works almost as well. This is uh, this grabs the beads slightly better because it's thicker and denser, but leftover scraps of quilt batting work too. So let's get started. So to make my little bead box, I have a CD tin. They sell these everywhere, it's just an empty tin. And I'm gonna use a marker and a piece of quilt batting and I'm just gonna basically trace the container with the marker. Now you'll notice that I'm cutting slightly inside the line. I think if you didn't have quilt batting and you didn't have a Velux bead mat, then you could probably also use felt. You just want something sort of cushy that will stop the beads from rolling around. Okay, so let's test the fit. Ugh, I cut it a little too small. I could have cut closer to the line is that the beads can get lost then in this little gap you really want it to go all the way to the edge so luckily I have a big enough scrap I can have another go okay this time I will cut closer to the line and if you don't have batting chances are you know a quilter who has leftover batting because it's one thing we all have left over so let's test the fit it's wrinkly, but it is a better fit. And a mat is a little bit thicker than what I have, so I'm actually gonna layer the two pieces together. There we go. And now I have a nice cushion in here. And now my beads won't roll away from me. So you can iron this batting, or you can just do what I'm doing and make it stay. So now the nice thing here is if I wanna take out a couple beads, I can put them down and they pretty much stay where I put them. They don't roll around. You know? To minimize the beads rolling around in the container, I'm just cutting one more piece of batting and that goes on top. And then that just keeps everything nice and snug inside the container so that when it's tipping around in your purse or travel bag, whatever, you don't have to think about it. I do like to add a rubber band for a little bit of extra security, but that's totally optional. I don't know if you've seen these rubber bands before, but these are, um, they're sort of attached at two sides. So they're great for a project like this. You sort of bring them around and then you can put them around the four corners, do you know what I mean? And it's one rubber band instead of being two, but now this is easy, drop in a purse in a bag, twist it and turn it any way that you want. And this is secure. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in learning how to make this necklace or this bracelet, you can check out the Artful Holiday class at balzerdesigns.com. I hope you enjoyed this basic video. If you have any other sort of basic art questions, things you're wondering about, I am working on a series and I'd love to hear your ideas and your questions. So thanks so much. I hope you will subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up.